All right, hi guys. Steph here with your premiere update. Here with Lindsay. She's our client manager here, one of our many client managers here at Premier. Um, today we are planning on talking about um, the importance of being submitted to a rec to get an interview. We know that obviously if you guys are take or if the clinician is taking an interview, it doesn't mean anything is set in stone. It's really to ensure that it's a good fit. Right. Um, to give you an example, one of our larger hospital systems gave us feedback that one of the only uh, ways that we can, like, on our scorecard with them, get a non-negative, you know, pulling somebody out of, uh, you know, a submission was if the candidate pulled themselves out. Like that was like totally a part of the process. It was expected. Um, they just see it as a part of what goes on. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's straight from the hospital system's perspective. There yes. is no, you know, contract, you know, just because you got submitted. Um, there's no contract just because you took an interview. It's all to give you a chance to like get your questions answered. Yes. So yeah, so even if you weren't like the top choice in this manager's decision because of a scheduling conflict or something, um, but that person then had to pull out for some reason, then you could potentially be the second, mm -hmm. you know, because you interviewed, you've spoken with the manager, you've built that relationship, you've gotten your answers, your questions answered. Mm -hmm. So yeah. We've even seen situations where people went into an interview and after the conversation it was kind of decided that they may be a better fit on a different unit that didn't even have an open rec. Um, but they opened something for them because they liked them so much or they tapped another manager to interview with them um, because they thought the candidate was such a great fit. It's just potentially they wanted a slightly different schedule than they were willing to do or you know, so I've seen jobs be received by people just simply because they nailed that interview. The job didn't even exist before, so it's definitely worth your time. You know, the purpose, you know, for getting, for being submitted to, to um, an interview, or to get an interview, I'm sorry, is to save time, really, too. I mean, um, you know, there's, there's chains, mm -hmm. right? So the client manager. Um, yeah, so sometimes um, when a position opens, you're looking at people being submitted within minutes. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Um, and sometimes the competition is really steep depending on where you are, what specialty you're in. Um, and the quicker that you we can get your packet in front of a manager to look at, the quicker that you're gonna make it through the process. If you have some questions about um, wording on the job description or potentially vagueness in the shift time, the time it takes for the TAM, for the recruiter to ask me, to ask the third party, to ask the manager could be weak before we even get a response. And then now there's 20 you know, resumes in yep. front of the manager when yours could have been second and you could have just asked all those questions in person mm -hmm. or on the phone yep. or yep, directly to that manager. Um, I know maybe you guys are wondering about, well, what, what if it isn't a good fit? You know, um, that's okay. Yep. You know, it's okay to um, say, you know, if I was your recruiter, Steph, that's not going to be a good fit. Um, and I would completely understand and I think even naturally when you go to an interview you don't have to take the position right. um, again it's to ensure that it's a good fit it's just one part of the whole process mm -hmm. the interview is you know the piece that lets everybody know if it's a good fit and that everybody includes you you have to feel like it's a good fit too absolutely Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming, Lindsay. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. All right. Bye, guys. We're out.